Cody from YouTube, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. It is Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, to everybody. And today, as you can see, I am in my new Santa skin. So I hope you guys like this. I can also take the mask off, and it is my normal skin, except I have green dyed hair. So yeah, I dyed my hair, I guess, as you can kind of see through the top of it. But anyways, I built Santa's sleigh right here, which I think it looks pretty nice, except I use donkeys instead of actual reindeer. But anyways, um, this is the MC City, as you can obviously see. It's all in a, it's like a big winter wonderland. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do this to your very own world using this house. So we're going to be converting this into a snowy house, just like this house. I'll even show you how to build this tree. Now, it's not the best tree, but it's really like the best you're going to get at this kind of scale. Like... Yeah, the slabs don't really fit in that much, but you can really do whatever you want. I don't really know how to do decorations on it, so that's the best I could get. But also, um, on every house, there are the slabs, the red and green slabs going all the way around. And it looks sort of like Christmas lights. Now, it doesn't actually light up, but it looks like you do have some sort of Christmas lights or your roof is at least decorated and then you can put just a little leaf here and it looks kind of like a small wreath or i even put a giant one on this side of the house and dangle this kind of down and it looks like a giant wreath attached and you can kind of do whatever you really want with these uh the roofs are all snowy of course and there's of course a little snowman yes it does move right now it's not but it might yep there you go it moves and then yeah you know you got your trees and everything you can do your own decorations but i'm going to be showing you guys how to do the snowman and the tree and yes the snowman cannot really move it's stuck in these blocks like i mean i can't even go into it because there's barriers here but i'm still gonna show you guys because some of you don't know how to take the pumpkin off of his head so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that but anyways, we're going to be using this house, and we're even going to be converting the car into a snowy vehicle, which I will show you guys in a second. But first thing you're going to want to do is, if you have any plants outside of your house, like as you can see, I have this core dirt here, and I have the grass and the leaves. That's what I'm talking about. Not talking about grass or, you know, your wall. I'm talking about these plants and things. So if you have any flowers or anything, the block below it, you're going to want to make sure it is coarse dirt only. Not podzol or, um, what else, grass or sand or anything else or soul sand. I don't know why you'd use soul sand, but keep it coarse dirt. Make sure it is coarse dirt that will just give the best effect. Also for your leaves, you're going to want to replace every leaf you have into a spruce leaf it just looks much more like it is actually like i don't know exactly how to say it but there's certain trees that stay through the winter and they don't lose their leaves and they always have these darker kind of leaves on them so yeah it's just more realistic and makes sense i forgot what trees they were but they're very common so it really just also makes it kind of look a bit colder I don't know how it just it just looks not so bright and warm and it's darker it gives a dark effect so it's not all sunny and things I don't know but whatever I feel like it looks best you can do whatever you want but this is the way I like it so yeah so change those leaves and now all you gotta do is take get rid of every single uh, flower and things that you have around here. Just get rid of them. You don't need them. They all died during cold weather, so just get rid of them. <laughs> you absolutely, 100%, do not need them. No matter how, look, how good it looks, I'm sorry, you don't need them. So just, if I can stop breaking the actual blocks, but yeah, you don't need them. I keep saying don't need them, like, a lot. Alright, so let's do a quick speed up of me getting rid of all this stuff. Oh, 
all right so now that we have those flowers and well mine was all grass but if you have any flowers do the same but now what you're gonna want to do is get some dead bushes and just put them like sprinkle them around don't put them like completely filled up but kind of just mess it around put them not everywhere but you know every so blocks just have them sitting out you can have some in a row like that but you don't have to and it just looks pretty good like they have all died off and you know the winter got cold and yeah so let's quickly do this and i'll be right back with you guys Alright, there we go. We have all those dead bushes in place. So now, just get some top snow and put them all on top of your leaves. Every leaf block, put it on top. Oops, not there. But just put it on top of everything. And also, yes, this house does have a pool. So if your house has a pool, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually, you know, fix that. And there's two variants to how to make it look like it's rather frozen or one other way which I will show you at the end of the, well when the video gets to it actually not down there okay so yeah put the snow on and I will be right back with you guys okay so there we go it looks kind of weird from now you just have white leaves <laughs> it's kind of weird for now but it will all look very good when you're done see over here it looks much better looks very very good now this is the only house I actually decorated with stuff but we're gonna be doing it to this house but you can do it to your entire town it doesn't take that long and yes also I did convert the trees to no leaves they're leaveless <laughs> and I'll show you how to do those too like easily so you don't have to break every single leaf block but anyways now that you have that done what you're gonna wanna do is get your grass changed to uh, all snow. So you're gonna wanna take some grass, well, <laughs> what am I saying? You're gonna wanna take some snow blocks, not the top snow, top snow is different and you'll see why that you have to use the, the snow blocks. Don't wanna be, don't wanna, well, no, don't take the easy way in just doing the top snow because it will look so much better if you do this way and I'll show you why later on, but just trust me on this one. And yeah, so I'll quickly do a speed up on this so you don't have to watch me doing this for hours. But yeah, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, I'm pretty sure we have gotten rid of every single block of grass that we have. Just taking a quick double check, and we have. Alright, 
So now what you're going to want to do, this is probably the easiest part. Just fill it all in with the snow blocks. That simple. And I'll be right back with you guys once I'm done. Okay. Uh, I think we are done with the snow. Let's just quickly do a quick flyby. Just to make sure. It looks pretty good so far. That looks really good. Now before we actually get too far into this. We are going to do the fences real quick. So right here you can already see this fence has a little top snow on it. But there's supposed to be a slab here. I don't know why there isn't. But the fence normally looks like that. But uh, since four top snows equals one slab, put four there whenever you have a slab. And then, oh, before we actually go, we also need to change these into spruce leaves as well. So get rid of your leaves. Now, it really depends if you have even a fence or if your fence is leaves it's probably not but mine is so I need to change this but anyways you can just skip forward if this isn't your actual what your fence is and it's probably not this but it the best thing with these leave uh, walls is when you have snow on top of them the snow will actually drip through well not exactly drip but it has particles that go off through the leaves and you can see it and it looks like it's actually falling and it looks really really nice especially from far away too because you just see a nice little glitter of snow and it really really looks good but you don't have to have it but I, I think it looks really cool so just a suggestion it really depends even if you have <laughs> fences but yeah so let's quickly get this done. All right, there we go. So that's simple as that. But now, uh, we need to work on these paths, as you can clearly see. There's just, they're just here. It just looks like you just have a path. It doesn't look like it really snowed at all. It just looks like white grass, and I don't know why you would have white grass. But anyways... Uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, just break a few blocks in your path. Not all of it, just a few. Just kind of break out some blocks, just like that, and put snow, snow blocks in there. Not the top snow, the snow blocks. And it looks just like that. So it looks like, oh, let's add one there. And there you go. It looks like you're path has been kind of overrun with snow and then you take your top layers and do the same thing except you don't break anything you just kind of place it over and it really adds a nice effect to it just well actually it's a bit too much right there oh didn't mean to do that and there you go it adds depth definitely it depth yeah it definitely adds depth and it just really looks good like it looks like you shoveled it a while like the person may have shoveled it a while ago but you know it actually snows and there's different layers and there's cracks in the ground and different things and it it looks actually realistic so just do that with the rest of your paths and i will be right back with you guys as soon as i can Alright guys, so I didn't finish yet, but you can see I did some work, but before you keep going crazy with this, as you can see I have a car here underneath it, don't put snow there, because it looks like the snow, because the snow doesn't go exactly sideways, and it doesn't go exactly under there, it mostly comes from an angle like at this side, and it doesn't really go down there. And most of the time, it just goes straight down, so there's not really anywhere to really go under there. So you can add a tiny bit on the sides, but don't do it all under there. And then same for under he here. Like, I did it a little bit here because if the snow was at an angle, it would be coming off of this side and going in a bit. But you don't have any over here. I just stopped it right here because even if it did go at a this angle it would just stop here 
it wouldn't keep going because you have a roof over your head. And I stopped it right here, too. So, kind of get what I mean with that. Just don't go crazy with it. Make it a bit realistic. And then also, if you have a little outline on your path like I do with the stone slabs, even if it's not sticking up out of the ground, take some top snow and just put a slab over those outlines. Because it this will look very, very nice when you are done. Just put the outline all on top. And then that will actually just do that as well. Because that's technically an outline. So there you go. And then also, for your path, just, yep, fill it in with snow. Just like before. We're also going to get rid of that because, you know, there's no actual fire <laughs> but we'll get rid of that there you go put some of uh, this down it looks pretty nice and then take your snow and put two layers of snow right where your fire is if you have a fire i'm just showing stuff that i have but there you go and then it looks like your path has depth but also you know it still has that outline and it looks pretty pretty cool and also another thing you can do is, since a slab is four uh, top snows, put four here. So you put one, two, three, and four. So do that to all sides. And then it looks like it's just covered in snow. <laughs> but yeah, that's if you like had a blizzard. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to also do that to this too. So one, two, three, and four. So... Yeah, just do that all the way around, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so there you go. You have your pool outline done. Now, because we're already working on the pool, we might as well just, like, finish the pool. So, take your ground color, and make sure you have no lights in your pool. Otherwise, this will not work. So, just take out the lights. You can even put the lights back in there, but turn them off. Like, if you have redstone lamps, just take away the redstone and then yep oh yeah and then on this part just put the layer on top so it looks like you actually you know have a pool it's not just snow <laughs> but there you go you can rather have it like that and have it like cold water i guess if you really wanted to but there's multiple ways you can make it realistic so you can otherwise make it ice you can keep it water, and it would just be freezing water that's almost about to freeze. Or you can put a cover over your pool. And to do that, you can get any color carpet you want. I'm going to choose... Um, pro don't choose white, otherwise that's just going to blend in with everything, and it's not going to look that good. I'm going to choose gray and some red. So... What you gonna what you do is you put that on your water. It's pretty simple. Put that on your water. Make sure not to click on the snow, otherwise it's just gonna delete the snow. So you gotta be kinda careful. And you can't really do that, so I suggest placing a some block and then that and then placing it on the corner of it and then getting rid of the block. And then you have your carpet. So it's kind of hard to place. But you get the point. You just cover your entire pool with this carpet. And you could do any design you want. You could mix in some red with it. It's kind of hard to do. But you kind of get the point. Just cover that with your whole pool. And, you know, you could do that. But I'm going to do it with ice instead. So it's a frozen pool. And so, yeah. So let's get rid of this carpet because we do not need this. But if you're doing uh, ice, you're also going to want to get rid of these slabs because they're in the way for the ice. Now, that's just for my pool. I don't know if any of your guys' pools are going to have that. But then you just put ice here. It's that simple. That simple. I'm going to actually get rid of that carpet that I missed. So, yeah. You can leave the pool, like, you can leave the water in your pool below this, or you can drain it. It all depends to what look you want. 
If you want it to look super cold, then you drain the water. But if you want it to look like it just froze over and it's a thin layer of ice, then put the keep the water below it because then it will look like, you know, you still got water under there and it's not and it's still like, you know, freezing. But we're also going to do the same for the hot tub. Just cover that up right there. And we'll put that there. And because this is a waterfall, we're going to take some light blue glass panes and put those just right there. With, I don't even know if that looks good. You know what? No, I'm just putting ice. Just put two blocks of ice. And there you go. There's your, there's your pool. So there you go. It looks pretty cool. And now we can uh, double check all of our work. Make sure you got everything done which we do. So we're gonna do these trash cans. I don't know if you have trash cans, but I do. So I'm just gonna put two snow layers on top of those. But anyways, it's time to move on to the car and then we'll do the roof and everything else because the roof is probably the hardest part, but it's really not that hard because you're just replacing everything. And it's harder with slabs. If you have a slab roof, ro roof, like this, it goes up in slabs. Then you have to use the top snow to make your own slabs. But if you have stairs, this will be much easier because it's really, really easy to just use commands and replace this to snow. And your whole roof is already done for you. You just have to add in those colored slabs and you're done. So here, let's do the car real quick. So first change this top part into snow, just like that. Looks pretty good. Do that same thing over there we'll do this top part in a sec but as you can see you cannot place snow on top of the slabs or that right there you can only place it down there oh actually those are slabs as well so you can't place it you can't place it anywhere in this back and if you have that then what you do is you stand on the block but you go one block up where your where your feet are you're gonna want to get the coordinates so then you put slash set block I can't type set block and then you put in these swigglies the tildes and then put snow underscore layer and hit enter and then I sh you should have snow there so then all you gotta do is open your chat if you have a controller, you hit the up arrow and on your controller and it will like paste the command back. If you're on Pocket Edition, that will not work and you're going to have to type it all, all in again manually. Yeah, it's going to suck, but you know, it's it, I really hope your whole car isn't all slabs like that. But anyways, we can get rid of this because that will all be this later on. So, one, two, three, four. So, just put that here. Actually, we gotta do that. Oh, I keep placing stuff. One, two, three, and four. Alright, so now if you have little pockets of air right here, what you're gonna do is go get some barrier blocks. So, I know I have some over here. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. So we got some from Santa's sleigh, or more like my sleigh. <laughs> and so now you just put some barrier blocks there, but you still can't place the snow. So you put snow layer, snow layer, snow layer. No, no, up, up arrow. There you go, snow layer. And then you just put three more on top. And there you go. You've still got your car empty in there. And it's filled with snow. <laughs> So there you go. And then for this back part, put one, two, three, four, four, four. And then this, we're also gonna add another just on top. That's a bit too high. I can't copy. <laughs> there you go. Now it looks much, much more realistic. So then we're also gonna do a little something for this trailer. So it's pretty simple. Just go like, nope, not, not like that. 
go like that and then put one two three and we're just gonna do that we're just gonna put it there because you know again it doesn't just go in all the way but there you go that is all you gotta do actually wait you know what no that's good that's good and there is your wintry car <laughs> so there you go it looks like it snowed overnight on your car but anyways right here you have this little front porch so you're gonna want to take those slabs and turn it into snow just like that that's all you got to do it looks like it snowed on the steps a bit over here we don't need to do anything all I'm gonna do is just put some blocks of well not some top snow just on top of that porch just like that Act, what why am I doing this side we're under a roof <laughs> okay so that's really all you got to do right there just put some right there actually we don't need that we'll just put that okay there you go and then you got some snow just on here that's a bit repetitive Try to keep things not being repetitive, like having checkered patterns going on in your thing, because that really just looks unnatural. Also, make sure you're... Why? Why? <laughs> also, make sure your doors in your house are closed, otherwise it's just going to look really bad, like it's just freezing in your house. But there you go. Now let's move on to the roof. Okay, so now it's time to work on our roof. So what you're gonna need is a barrier, uh, dark prismarine slabs, brick slabs, top snow, and a snow block. Now this is probably pretty easy for you, but it's also it also may be hard for you at the same time. I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, what you're gonna want to do is come to your front of the house, like the front corner of the roof, and you see that. You just go all the way across until you find this other corner of it. So you meet right in the corner, so you get some barriers. And you meet right in that corner. So then you're going to go one block down. Destroy those barriers. And then stand on it. And get your coordinates. And we're going to do some commands. So... As you can see in the top left corner of my screen, it says negative two, eight, and then 120. Do not use my commands. Use the commands you see. We'll use the coordinates you see. Not mine, because that will do something weird in your world. That'll mess everything up. Use your coordinates that you see. But anyways, type in those. So you got negative two. We'll first type slash fill, the slash fill, negative two, and then we have eight. So we'll type in eight, and then 120. So one, no, 120. Boom, there you go. So then you can destroy that barrier. And then what you do is do the same thing. Find that corner, got it. Oh yeah. You gotta get the high block right there, so then find that, and then right here, so we'll just build this straight up, and then I would say go down a block, but this is already down a block, so then just destroy that, and destroy that. So now you got your high coordinate, I can't even see where this is. Alright, so get your coordinates. So now I have negative 29, 18, and 142. So let's type that in. So negative 20, uh, oops. So negative 29. Then you have, that just deleted my coordinate, 129. I forgot what that coordinate was. Oh, 18. <laughs> so 18. And then 142. So, 142. Boom. So now, you can destroy that. You don't need that anymore. Just get the angle that you want to see this in, because now you're going to see what it looks like. So, 
clone that back up there. And pay attention to these. If you don't know how to do commands, pay attention to what I do first. Do not do this on your own, okay? Otherwise, this will delete your entire roof. So you put snow, 15, replace. And then since I my roof is made out of stone stairs, I put stone, underscore, brick. No, that's a dash, underscore, stairs. So it will replace the stone stairs with snow. Now it's kind of replaced how it says snow will be replaced with stone brick stairs, but it's the opposite, okay? Just remember it's the opposite like that. So the block you want it to change to is first. And then hit enter. And there you go. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna change that to quartz stairs. So quartz. If I can type, I can't type. Quartz, quart, quarters, quartz. I don't even know why I try. Quartz stairs. Enter. Boom. And then don't do slabs or anything. You can still see slabs on my roof, as you can clearly see right here. Don't do the coordinates with that. Okay, just just don't. We can do that by hand. It's really easy to do by hand. But anyways, all you got to do now is, since you have your roof sort of done, delete these blocks that are here. So you should just have it diagonal like that. So go around your entire house, breaking it, so you just have a thin layer. Keep that there. If you have a house with that, then actually, actually it will destroy it. It doesn't matter, just destroy that. Now right here, some things inside of your house will be destroyed. It doesn't really matter unless you really want it to be there. Then I suggest just doing it by hand. Otherwise, yeah, things in your inside your house will be destroyed if you have stairs and things. So some things up there will be destroyed for me. I know it, but I'm not too worried about that. You don't really have to do this inside part right here that I'm doing right now, but so you have that. So then right here, we're just going to get rid of that as well. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go around and I'm going to do this to the whole houses. Well, to all of, what am I saying? I'm going to be doing this to the rest of the house. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so now we have that done and you may be thinking, that does not look good. How is this making my house better? It's not. <laughs> it's really not. Okay, so just start somewhere and have red, green, red. Just alternating. It doesn't matter where you start, but I started down at this corner. But then just keep alternating. Sorry about this lag. It's, you know, I've got a lot of snow placed. <laughs> like, all of the top snow does add a little bit of lag but not as laggy as this because um though i have literally a giant city so <laughs> unless you have a giant city like this it's probably not gonna lag for you so don't worry but now that i have that and i ends in green i'm gonna go here and start red green red green and i'm just gonna go around the entire house and there's a little hole here so we're gonna patch that up but, yep, it's pretty simple. Oh, not like that. Okay. And there you go. So then it ends with red. So we're going to start with a green one right here. Boom. There you go. So that ends with green. So we're going to start with red. And it also lines up perfectly because that goes green, red, and then this goes to green because it's kind of in line like that kind of you don't have to do that but like that's just what happened with me so then there you go you got that and this ends in red so then you have green red green and it goes back to red perfect that's perfect as simple as that now since you have might have some of that going on just change that to snow and it will be 
all fixed. So I'm gonna go around this whole house looking for that. I got one there, but then I've got one here. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And now I just gotta do this one. So one thing, if you do have it like this, what you can do is just use commands to fill it in, but I don't need to use commands. I'm just gonna do this all by hand. So I'm filling up it up to two right now and I'll just go back and do it, add another two. So yeah, I'll be right back with you guys once this is done. All right, there it is. Here is our house. So now we are not done yet. So see this little green guy right here? We're gonna add red, green. So you got green, green, and then red, and then green, red. Actually, no, that goes green and then red. And then you have red, green, and then red, green, red, no, red, green. And there you go. Kind of adds a little bit of something. So it kind of goes down to that pillar, it goes up, goes to that pillar, and then goes up. And you can kind of do that if you want. You don't have to. But I'm going to because I think it looks pretty nice. I'm even going to add it in front of this window. Just, just because. We got red, green, red. Actually, that's not big enough. We're going to add green, red, green, red, green. There you go. So you can kind of mess around with this. Make it look how you want it. Okay, that really triggers me. That window really triggers me. Why does it have to be this way? It's because I gave someone this house. I let them use this house and they put a window there and it shouldn't be there. <laughs> so that really triggers me. Okay, well anyways, let's just go green, red, green, Okay, so that's three. I just started at that. So green, red, green, red, green, and red. Boom. So now, why is it lagging so much? This is not good. This is literally my Christmas special, and it's lagging. Why? So you can do whatever size wreath you want, but I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do the three, and then you have that coming off. Then you have that. That kind of covers up a window. But it's it's okay. <laughs> I don't really care. And there you go. It really doesn't matter what size wreath you use. It even looks good if you have a tiny one. Like, if you just put... Well, here, on this house, I just have that. And it still looks good. Or you can even put a slab under it, and it's, it looks like it's being supported. And it looks pretty good. So, our house is now officially 100% don't, no, I just spotted something. Take some top snows, and in this, just kind of randomly place some snow into this. That looked really strange when I saw that. Just randomly place some snow just into here. Just random. Not all, you know, full in here. Just random. And then you should be... 100% done, unless you want to add some more decorations outside, which I will show you in a second. So now we got that right there. We go, boom, nice. Okay, that we are 100% done. All we're gonna do now is build this tree. So the easiest way to get a good looking Christmas tree is, well, if you want one like this kind of style, now, it does look pretty bad with those slabs. I'm going to try another style on this house, so still wait. It could look better. It probably will look better. I'm getting better at tree at Christmas trees because I'm not, I'm not the best at them, but I'm getting better. But, you know, so these are the materials you're going to need. But we're going to put a tree here. So then just grow it, I guess and hope you get a good tree. 
That's not a good tree. Wait, that could be a good tree. We're going to use it. We'll use it. All right, let's get rid of those vines because we do not need those. All right, so we got a tree. It's smaller than that one, but it's okay. And then we're also going to now make a little snowman. So you're going to first build some stuff like this. Now, because there is a snow block right here, I'm going to build two on top. Put a face, and there you go. You got a snow golem, but shear it, and you have a snowman. It's perfect. It is literally perfect. I don't know what's going on with this world, but every mob that I spawn in never turns around, and it's always facing the opposite way I want it to. I want it to face that way, but it's always facing this way. And th this one, it's always facing this way. But the head will turn around all the way to the back. But the body doesn't turn around. I don't know why. Does anyone know why this happens? Literally, it's kind of weird. It's pretty weird. But anyways, so now that you have that, you no longer need that stuff. Don't put snow on top of your tree. It just looks bad. But anyways, let's just grab some materials. So you'll need some glowstone. No, that's not glowstone. That's We need glowstone. There we go. And some yellow stained glass panes. And some red glass panes. And green glass panes. Now, you can also find some other things to use. I'm not sure what else you can use. But I know there's other things. Um, you'll just kind of have to experiment with it. I'm going to use the slabs. But you can do whatever you want. You don't have to use the slabs. I'm going to try without the slabs at first. But I don't know how it's, how it's going to go. So let's just make sure. So that's in a block. Okay, so go down a block where you have the four coming out. And put glowstone in the middle. But then put some slabs and a little star like that. So it's kind of like a, yeah, it's like the little star. I, I think it looks good. Yep, that looks good. Okay, but anyways, so now that you have the star, you can take this and just alternate them. I don't think there's anything else you can really do, but just kind of alternate them. You can do No, not that, not that. You could maybe put them down there. That may look good. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> But anyways, you can put that there, that there, that there, and that there. This isn't looking that good because there's not really much else you can do. So that's why I take in the slabs and I put them here like that. But you don't have to use the slabs because they, they really don't look that good. They're way too bulky. But, you know, if you use the festive mashup pack... You can get so many decorations for the tree, like, you can get Christmas lights and so many other things. S game, stop lagging, oh my gosh. <laughs> stop lagging. Okay, but anyways, there you go. Here is your house, and we're all done. The only thing we're forgetting are the trees. So... Let's say you have leaves on your tree. So here, I'm going to quickly just spam a bunch of leaves on here. Just forget that I actually don't... Like, forget that this is going to look really bad. I'm just spamming these on here. It's obviously going to look bad. I'm just doing this just for the sake of this video. Okay. There's your amazing, beautiful tree. I should start using these trees. Like, this is so realistic. Totally. Okay, I don't know why I try. But anyways, you're going to first find which way is going positive and positive. So look up at your coordinates and just go in one direction. Whichever one changes, and if it is going up, mine is going up right now. So that means that that way is positive, that way is negative. So then I'm going to want to stand in this corner looking at the positive. But... Um, like your tree has to be, like your tree has to be in front of you looking at the positive way, but then got to go this way or this way. So I'm going to try this way. 
that goes negative. This goes positive because we're in the negatives. So going backwards is like going forwards. So you want to stay right here. So that's positive and that's positive. Then you're going to go down as low as the last branch goes. So I'm going to go just right here. And then you're going to type slash fill. And then type in just this. You don't have to type in any other coordinates. You can take the same coordinates that I do. But then you do one more and then type, let's just say 20. And then type another and type, let's just say 10. And then another and say 20 again. And then you can say air 15 replace leaves and hit enter and your leaves are gone so now you can go pretty much anywhere and the leaves will just go away so you can stand here repaste your command and the leaves are gone and it only deletes the leaves so you can stand like oh yeah here's a tree so you can do this and boom leaves are gone you only have the tree left so that's the easiest way, or you can also break it by hand if you are on Pocket Edition because it'll be easiest to break it by hand on Pocket Edition because you can't copy and paste commands. But, anyways, that will be it for this video. Let me get back to my sleigh so I can deliver Christmas presents. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Merry Christmas, and I'm out. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.